There is artwork all over, and the first rooftop pool in the seaport. The 22-floor tower with over a thousand rooms makes the Omni Boston a new landmark. We have uh, set out to really include kind of what makes Boston the uh, performing and visual arts. Opening across from the Boston Convention and Exhibition Center, it was necessary, and it promises to be an economic boost for an often sleepy seaport. The Convention Center was unable to expand without an additional 1,000 rooms, actually 2,000 rooms of which this was part. With seven restaurants, Lifted is named for windows that lift. That's symbolic of the hotel's goal of lifting up the community, starting with a core of minority investors. But I'm equally as proud of the 39 minority investors who put their money at risk and bet on our team in the beginning. They didn't come in at the end, they put their money up with us. And I'm going to ask those here from the minority investors to please stand up. Thank you. Please stand up. The plan is to contribute to nonprofits like the Boys and Girls Club. We have partnered with the Boys and Girls Club. We, we partner with uh, many local uh, charities. In a pandemic with a national labor shortage, this was a bold opening, a ribbon cutting that was hard fought <laughs> and a true accomplishment. We've hired 450 people who've had a tough go of it over the last two years. And you probably can't hear the classical music, but that's what guests will hear when they start to check in tomorrow. $90 million on the books for check-ins over the next couple of years if COVID cooperates. Lots of activists and real estate entrepreneurs here, but one of the more touching moments was a retired doctor from Tufts walking around with his wife and he just said he wanted to see what he's been paying for and he's proud to be a part of change.